Hey everybody, Mike here at MEC Tutorials. Welcome back. This is part three on, uh, in the series of how to model uh, nuts and bolts. Okay, and today we're going to model a wing nut. All right, not too difficult. Um, so we're going to start off with a simple polygon pipe. We're going to drag that out in the grid. We're going to pull that up. Hit F to zoom in. We'll just uh, turn this off here. Where did my object go? There it is. All right. Okay. So we're going to give that a little bit of height, not too much. So let's just see if this guy is sitting on the grid. It looks okay. Right click vertex, drag select the top. I still got my soft select on. Don't worry about that. Okay. And we're just going to pull that up a little bit. Okay. Now, what's critical with the wing nut is that the the cylinder inside needs to be level, okay? However, on the outside, it is not. So we're going to right-click on this edge up here. We're going to select that, and we're going to hit R, and we're going to bring that in. Okay. To about that. <clears throat> now, the thing is, if you look at the side of a wing nut, it's not... Uh, shape like that. It's kind of rounded a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh Tool, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, and let's do multiple, and let's do three. Okay. And let's add them right there. Then let's switch to this view. F to zoom in. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We're going to right-click our vertex. And when we select these vertices, we're not selecting any on the inner cylinder, okay? So we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna start to kind of flare that out a little bit. We're gonna do the same here. And we're gonna do the same here. Okay, whatever you think looks best, okay. So that would be about it, okay? Now, from our grid line, we are going to create the wings. So I'm just gonna hit four for wireframe mode. And let's see where we need to be. Yeah, we'll do right here. So hit five. We'll do right click face. And I'm going to select these six. And these six. All right. Okay. Edit mesh. Extrude. Hit R. And start. Oops, we got a little bit too much going on there. Sorry about that. Hit R and scale that out. And then we're going to switch views to this view right here, hit five on our keyboard, and we're gonna hit W, and we're gonna start to move that up. Okay. Let's just check how that looks. All right. And we do need to do some tweaking. Okay. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to vertex, and we're gonna take that one right there, and that one right there. And we're going to hit R. And we're going to pull them in just a little bit. And then hit W and bring that up just a little. And these shapes need to be somewhat rounded. Okay. So what we'll do there is, and actually I know that they stick out a little bit. Problem is we're going to smooth this out. Okay, and that's the tricky part. So let's go to this view right here, and we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to vertex, and we're gonna select these and these. I'll hit four for wireframe mode so I can see that I'm not missing anything. We're gonna hit R and we're gonna just scale that out a little bit. Take these and these, and we're gonna do the same. And I'm going to take these two, and we're going to hit W. We're going to bring that down. 
to about there. And like I said, the thing is that we're going to smooth this out. So we're going to right click go to object mode, hit three. And as you can see, that thing needs a little bit of help. All right. Because right now it looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse. Okay. Hit one. Okay. Next, we are going to go to our top view. Right click vertex, drag select these and these. And we're going to hit R. And let me think, yeah, hit R. And then push them out a little bit to about there. And now we're going to add some edge loops to hold our shape. Okay. One little tweak we need to do here which is these two push them down and hit R and push them out just a little bit. All right, we're going to go to mesh tools, injured edge loop tool, option box, single setting. Let's add an edge loop out there. One down here, one in here. We'll do one there and one there. And these we, we want to be a bit softer. So let's hit Q, right click object mode and hit three to smooth. Okay. Uh, let's see, not quite happy with this yet. So what we're gonna do there is we are going to Right click, go to vertex, and I'm going to select these two and these two and these two and these two. All right, and we're going to hit R. That's starting to look better. That's actually much better. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Now we need to deal with the thread, but also we're just going to tweak this a little bit. Hit one to go back to your normal setting, if you will. And we're going to take these, these, and these, and be careful that you don't select anything else. Looks like that's all I got. And I know you're going to say, why are you not mirroring this? Well, just because I'm not. Okay. If you like to do that, fine. You can. Uh, in this case, I thought it was fairly basic. So, okay. We're going to push that in a little bit. And I think we are getting really close to where we need to be. All right, right click object mode, hit three to smooth. Yeah, that's kind of neat. All right, now for the thread. And actually I'm thinking of bringing this guy in a bit, but object mode, hit one. Nah, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to create polygon primitives helix. Right there. We're going to drag that out in the grid. We're going to pull that up. Let's go to our helix tab. Set translate values to zero to get it nice and centered. And hopefully this guy is centered as well. Now it is. Okay. Take our helix. We're going to go to the helix tab. We're going to decrease the radius to, let's say, 0 0.5, still quite big, 0 0.15. We're going to increase the coils to 13. Let's um, hit R and scale that guy in. And let's see, that's not enough thread, so we need a bit more. So we'll do... 20 coils, that's getting much closer, maybe even more, 25, yeah, that's a bit better, okay, 
Now we need to position it correctly. Okay, it's sticking out as you can see. So we're moving to this view right here. I have to zoom in. Hit W and bring that down until the top part of the thread is inside your model. Okay, we're going to hold down D to move your pivot point. And we're going to hold down um, X. Uh, sorry, V. I always get confused with these two. Okay, so snap your pivot point to the top. Now release that. If you now hit R and you scale in, you can pull your thread until it's inside your model. Okay, there we go. We're going to select them both. Mesh combine. We're going to hit 3 to smooth that out. And we're going to move our model onto the grid. So hit W, move that up. There we go. Let's close that down. Get a good angle for our render. And I already set up this scene with the lighting from um, from the initial video. So I just got a couple of point lights and an HDRI image. That's it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in, set up my render window. That's about right. I'm going to apply some material, assign new material, MIA Material X. I'm going to go to my material tab, presets, chrome, replace, and I'm going to give this a render. And I'm going to see you guys when it's done. Well, guys, there you have it. There's our wing nut. And um, yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. And see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.